This video is going to explain why everyone's favorite mayor of Final Fight inexplicably drops enemies. So I'll be doing this video on the Super Nintendo version of Final Fight Guy, but I believe that the same mechanic should apply for all of the different versions of Final Fight. So for this particular video, we are going to be interested in the following memory addresses. They are D76 and 10D. So, D76, as the notes already make clear, is Hagar's drop counter. So when Hagar goes to pick up an enemy, so we're going to go ahead and pick up Jake, as soon as Hagar picks them up, um, even before the sprite shows Hagar is picking them up, a number is going to be set here. It's going to be a positive number, and it's going to tick down by one every frame. So while the number is a positive number, you can move around, you can headbutt them, you can do whatever. But once the number ticks down to zero, Hagar drops them. So the question is, what determines what that number is going to be? And the answer is, it's the timer that's at 10D. And so let's kind of look at how this timer behaves. So I'm going to go ahead and do a reset here. The timer starts at zero at power on. And what it's going to do is after I pick a character and load the first stage, timer is going to start at zero and then what it will do is it'll increment up at by seven each frame. I've already kind of passed it a little bit but you can see it's ticking up and it'll flip over when it gets to 255. So this timer here is going to determine how long Hagar is going to pick up an enemy for. So I've got a state where I am exactly two frames away from picking up Jake. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to mess with this timer number. So I'm going to go ahead and start by setting it to zero. I'm going to freeze it at zero. And so now when I go to pick up Jake in two frames, I'm picking him up for 89 frames. We're going to increase the value a little bit. We're going to make it 3. Now when I pick up Jake, I've got him for 109 frames. We're going to increase it a little bit. We're going to make it 8. Now I have Jake for a whopping, maybe not impressive, but for Hagar it is, 129 frames. Now we're going to increase it a little bit more. We're going to make it 13. I'll reload the state. And now I have Jake for a pathetic 29 frames. Given how long it takes Hagar to pick the enemy up all the way, 29 frames is less than half a second, and given the amount of time it takes to pick Jake up all the way, it's a very pathetic amount of time that you have to work with. So as it turns out, the minimum amount of frames that you can pick an enemy up for is 29, and the maximum amount is 129. And so, although there's a, a few irregularities, uh, pretty much every five to seven frames Every, uh, <clears throat> every few ticks of the counter is going to determine how long Hagar is going to pick up an enemy for. So it'll, it's between 129 and 29. And so the problem though is that this number is always moving. It freezes for a little bit during stage transitions, but otherwise it's pretty much always moving. So over here, I've got the first boss, so I'm going to go ahead and try to finish him off immediately. I need to unfreeze my timer here. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the first boss immediately using a body slam. So 
So the timer is going to freeze at 89 for the stage transition. And then once the next stage is loaded, it's not cleared out. It picks up from where it left off. We reload the state. Except this time we're going to finish them with a pile driver because it's more satisfying. So we reload the state. This time it's at 36. So you can see it's kind of difficult to figure out how to do this. And since the number is changing in every frame, being able to predict where the timer is going to be at any given frame is not impossible to manage in real time on top of all the other craziness of Final Fight. So it's kind of sad. But in more happy news, uh, if you don't mind cheating a little bit, what you could do is you could freeze the drop counter to be a positive number. And then if I reload our state here, you can have a lot of fun. That spit just doesn't move. Anywho, thanks for watching.